So that's his whole, that's his entire hand. That is his entire hand that he's about to end it, that he's about to end phase. His entire hand activate. I'm just gonna send it, one, two, send them. That is gonna be my engine now. All those beasts and beast warrior monsters are gonna be my engine, give me a fractal. Uh, I wanna summon the Nerval. Nerval to the field, Nerval activate your effect. Because now we've got all these, we're gonna send four cards. Send a Thoroughblade. One, two, three, four. Scoop! Tri Brigades, the newest tier one deck in Master Duel. How do you play it? It is really simple. Once you get these combos down, you are good to go. So how does this work? So you've got two ways to play this deck. Your main way are gonna be through your Tri Brigades. You want to have a Fractal in hand. Now all Tri Brigades have a special effect where they can then link summon a monster by banishing Winged Beast, Beast Warrior, or Beast Monsters from your graveyard. But each and every one of them have a secondary effect that's different. Fractal's effect, discard this card from your hand. So you don't want to summon it. You want to activate its effect, discard it from your hand. Fractal will then send another Tri Brigade from your deck to the graveyard. You want to send your kit. Kit will then ask you to send another card from your deck to the graveyard. You want to send your Nerval. Nerval will then add a Fractal monster to your hand. You want to add a character. Karis. Karis, you can either discard a beast, beast warrior, wing beast, a special summon it, so you still get a normal summon, or you can summon it to the field, banish to three monsters or four monsters, depending on what you do from your graveyard and link summon. If you only have three, you link summon into a Rugal. Rugal plus Karis equals a Shurag. Shurag upon summon will then banish any card your opponent controls, monster or back row. If you have four, you can go Shurag or you can go Access Code Talker. Depending on what's on the field, Access Code Talker will then target one link monster that was used. It will gain an attack boost of 1,000 per link rating. So with a link three, that's 3,000. You're talking about a 5,300 attack beater Access Code Talker. Shurag is also a non-targeting banish. So if there's any card that says you cannot target, Shurag gets over that. Your second strategy with this deck will be through Zodiacs. Zodiac Thoroughblade or Zodiac Ram Ram. Thoroughblade, here is your turn one play with a Thoroughblade. If you don't have any fractals in hand, you can do the Zodiac plays. So you want to start with your Thoroughblade or your Ram Ram. If you have a Thoroughblade, it's better because it's 1600 attack. When this card hits the field, you can exceed summon just using one material. So if you drop a Thoroughblade, you can then exceed summon into Borbo. Borbo can attack directly you want to go into main phase two after that and from there xc summon tiger mortar xc summon chaka nine xc summon hammer kong xc summon dryden and then finally xc summon zeus now you'll have six materials on the big boss monster Zeus Sky Thunder. As a quick effect, you can discard two materials from Zeus and then send every card on the field that your opponent controls to the graveyard. Once per turn, if another card you control is destroyed by battle or an opponent's card effect, you can attach one card from your hand, deck, or extra deck to this card as materials. So if there are popping cards in your field, you're adding more material to Zeus. Great secondary effect. Zeus can shut down a field super quickly. All the other cards here supplement that strategy. Raigeki to pop all monsters. Lightning Storm to destroy all attack position monsters or destroy all back row if you control no face up cards. Monster Reborn, it's Monster Reborn. Fire Formation Tanky, you use Tanky to then grab a Fractal, so you're essentially playing five Fractals. MST to pop back rows or pop any card that prevents you from doing something. One Airborne Assault, you target a Beast Beast Warrior or Wing Beast Monster you control, special summon another one. So that's another quick way that you can link summon into a level four. Rendezvous, Rendezvous, first effect, all Beast, Wing Beast and Beast Warrior monsters gain 700 attack until the end of the turn. If any of them would be destroyed by battle, you can discard this from the graveyard, so from the graveyard, you banish it. Threatening Roar, we play at two. So if your opponent front loads the field and you've got one Threatening Roar, you flip it up before they do anything if you know exactly 
exactly what they're playing. Your opponent cannot declare an attack that turn, so now you are saved for a turn. If they've got five cards in the field, that's why we're also playing Nibiru. Nibiru, if they summon five or more monsters, you contribute as many face-up monsters as they have. Nibiru then summons itself to the field. Wow, what a way to stop a play. Karma Cut to fuel the Graveyard Engine, Infinite Impermanence, Hand Trap or Trap on the field to negate any effect. Tri Brigade Revolt, so if you've got three in the Graveyard or Banished, you can summon them and then Link Summon. So if you've got three of them, you've got four of them, you can Link Summon them. Great way to bring back your Shurag. And we've got Solemn Judgment. Solemn Judgment just kind of stops any play the moment they make their first play. Hand Traps, we have our Effect Veil to stop effects. Ash Blossom to stop effects, adding cards, special summoning, yada, yada, yada. And then Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit, which not only stops an effect or a spell or trap effect, it also destroys. So you can pop the cards. And of course, we've got the Maxi Challenge, which nobody takes the Maxi Challenge because every time I present it to them, they just stop making moves. This is the deck. This is tier one. This will help you go on a lot of hot win streaks. Take a look at the strategies, but I'll show you some replays and enjoy the deck. Thank you. 